Now for JS on air, depending on uh, which top cop you listen to, Milwaukee's homicide rate is either among the lowest for cities of its size, or it's the fourth highest in the country. It's part of a war of words between the police chief and the county sheriff. We are joined by Dave Amhafer with the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. And Dave, found it interesting you decided to really evaluate and dig into both men's claims. I did, I did, and I found that there was an, an element of truth in both, but uh, they were not telling nearly the whole story. So what is the whole story? Well, the whole story is that, uh, you know, Sheriff Clark said we were fourth highest in the nation, and that's true if you just take a, uh, a segment of cities from a half million to about a million, and uh, his numbers were pretty much on target. If you expand it out to cities over 250,000, we're about 18th or 19th uh, out of those 75 cities. On the other side of the coin, uh, Sheriff Clark you know, tried to put in perspective that, um, you know, poverty is an issue. Uh, researchers have found that it correlates to homicide. So he tried to compare us to some other high poverty cities, but he really didn't uh, include a complete list. So we're not the best of uh, the bunch in terms of high poverty cities. Uh, we do pretty well in comparison to uh, those cities, but we're not the best. Now, the FBI warns very clearly. I mean, they put this list out every year, and people like to compare. The FBI warns against comparisons for, for right. this very reason, right? Because you can bend the numbers to make them say whatever you really want them to say. Right, right. We all love top ten lists. But um, in this case, uh, you know, there's a lot of factors behind these homicide numbers. And it is easy to cherry pick certain cities and, uh, and do these kind of comparisons. but. Uh, you know, if you're just taking one year and one crime, it doesn't really tell you that much. Sure. Well, Dave, thank you so much for being with us today. You we bet. appreciate it. You can read more about his story on jsonline.com. We also have a link on our website, today's tmj4.com.